For more than two decades, Tony Johnston was a regular on the European and Sunshine tours. Having turned pro in 1979, the Zimbabwean enjoyed more than his fair share of success, with over 20 titles to his name. By 2003, Tony was enjoying the autumn of his career on the European tour, but that changed when he was diagnosed with a nerve condition, multiple sclerosis. I woke up one morning, one Sunday morning, and my left hand was numb. I thought I'd been lying on it awkwardly or something, and then as the day went on, my left arm went dead, then my left side, left side of my face, and I thought, I've got to be having a stroke or something here. Went and saw a specialist on uh, the Monday the next day. He said it was a, a viral infection. They put me on steroids, um, which didn't really help and didn't put any yardages, yardage on my drive too, which was a bit disappointing. I was a bit hopeful. Uh, I had, then I had another attack about uh, six months later. Um, and then I went and saw the specialist again. They did MRI scans, and that's the only way really to to diagnose MS, you get these white plaques on the, on the brain, it's like sort of scar tissue almost. Uh, and that basically told us I had MS. And, um, and then I got really lucky, I got on a drugs trial for a new drug that's becoming available, thankfully, to the public end of this year. Uh, you know, the trials have taken over 15 years to get past uh, all the medical bodies and things. But you know, I just got very lucky, you know, the, the best MS drugs at the moment you take daily or every second day and they slow it down by 30%. This was two treatments uh, a year apart and that was it and basically, um, you know, it seems to have uh, put it into remission. So I've been a very lucky boy. It was a long road to recovery. At the time of diagnosis, the treatment for MS was limited and the debilitating effects of the disease had already eroded his game. MS basically, uh, your immune system thinks there's something wrong with your body when there isn't, and it goes around attacking uh, different nerve systems in your body. Um, and it basically causes almost a short circuit in the nervous system. This drug, uh, which was originally called Campath, basically shuts off your immune system completely. Um, you know, you've, you've got to live in a bubble for sort of 10 weeks because it, literally you have zero immune system. And the thinking was that, you know, when the immune system came back online, it would come back without a faulty memory, which is what MS is basically like resetting the computer, and it's, turn, it's, it's, it's turned out to be incredibly effective. You know, they've got a really a 99% success rate. So, you know, for, for people out there who've been recently diagnosed with MS, it's definitely worth looking at because it's been a lifesaver for me. Despite the miraculous recovery, the illness and time out from the game meant Johnston would have to teach himself to play golf all over again. Mind you, he's now just grateful to be back on the course and trying to compete again. I'm thankful that I'm still out on tour, but it has been frustrating because, uh, you know, when I, after I'd had the treatment, I got back a lot of what I'd lost with the, uh, in, in terms of coordination, but not all of it. Um, you know, when I came back to playing three years later, after being diagnosed, it, was, uh, it wasn't a case of getting back on the bicycle again because all my thoughts and feels that had worked for me my whole career just you know, they were defunct, they just didn't work at all. So it was pretty much like relearning the game. And my coordination has never been, it just hasn't been what it was. And uh, I can't really play the, the golf that I, I knew I, I could play. Uh, look, I'm getting older as well, but it's just the frustration side of it. But look, I'm out here and, uh, you know, you just keep trying your best, it's as simple as that. I think I might be starting to wind down in the next year or two. Um, you know, I'm doing a lot of uh, commentary work on TV, which is really nice. Uh, and it's nice to be able to get involved uh, in a different arm of the game, you know, something that you love doing. Johnston had set his sights on playing on the senior tour once his recovery was complete, and that happened shortly after his 50th birthday in 2006. And not only has he become a regular on the senior circuit, he's even defied the odds by getting back in the winner's circle. When I was diagnosed, they basically said, look, you know, you're never going to play professional golf again, uh, which is a bit of a shock to the system. Uh, particularly when you think back of all the times that you've three-putted the 36th hole to miss a cut by one on the main tour, you know, and you think, why do I have to do this for a living? I hate this game. And then when you're suddenly told, well, you're not going to play it anymore, that is a, it's, it's a serious shock to the system. You know, it, it stunned me, really. Um, you know, and then you, you come back out after the treatment and you hope you can win, but you don't really know. Uh, and as I say that, I had a, about a 15-inch putt on the last green to win by one, and probably the most nervous I've ever been over a putt in my life. I mean, I was absolutely quivering, and it was just a great experience to pull that off. 
A golfing story of triumph over adversity and a beacon of hope to all those whose lives have been affected by MS.